Stephen Krasner has been a sports journalist for 33 years. For 22 of them, he was reporting Red Sox games, but it's not a Red Sox game he remembers the most. The most memorable experience I had as a sports writer, though, um, had to do with um, covering the 1989 World Series in San Francisco, which was interrupted by a 7.0 earthquake. So I was in Candlestick Park as the earthquake hit San Francisco. And visiting the next day, obviously no baseball, visiting the next day there was a collapsed freeway in Oakland, a double deck of freeway in which the top deck landed on the lower deck, trapping people and cars falling off. Baseball has always been his passion, but when he began covering Red Sox games, he took it to the next level. Every, every year I covered the Red Sox, I kept what I called the book. Um, it was, um, uh, all the, I would cut out all the box scores of every game they played in a particular season, and as the season went on, I would keep track of the home runs the Red Sox hit, uh, who hit the home run, how many runners on base, what it made the score, who we hit it against, same with the opposing hitters against the Red Sox pitching staff, daily results, a little paragraph about each game, and the players' individual stats on a daily basis, pitchers and position players. This is Audrey Lee reporting from Mount Wachusett Community College. Catch you later. For the last 15 years, I've been doing abstractions. John Pacheco is an art teacher at Mount Wachusett Community College. Inspiration is important to him, and he gets it from many different sources, including his students. One student had done a, a night picture of stars and it was, it was kind of abstract. And just that image of a circle or an oval with another lighter color in the inside of it, I thought, gee, that's a great idea. So I used that in my f to get into abstraction. And that color combination will inspire me to begin the painting. Doesn't mean the painting ends up looking like that, but you need an inspiration to begin with. We had a student last year, uh, Jason Kartosh, who was a sculptor. And he was able to put together a whole group of work that we eventually showed in the gallery. And it's three-dimensional sculptural work, somewhat abstract, but very politically oriented. That, those were very interesting. Often students are influenced by their teachers, but this story shows that teachers can also be influenced by their students. From Mount Wachusett Community College, I'm Claire Swanson.